What up, y'all? I'm Steve with Let's Elevate, and this is Teresa, the lovely Elevate doll. And today we're here to talk about electric dab rigs. So we basically have this uh, Puffco. That's one of the biggest ones out there. We got this new Carta here, and then we got this E-Pro. So what some of y'all may not fully realize is these guys with G9, they were the first ones to create a portable dab rig. Uh, it's not the best, but it's also not the worst. Um, I remember when I first seen it, it looked like a lot of the technology they kind of took from my Lifesaver and my vaporizers. Okay. They had little things to it. You know, I've been making an EOK for dabs for probably about the last six years now. And I seen stuff on there that looked like they got from what I got with our old dishes, <laughs> but it wasn't quite the same. So I always thought that was kind of neat. Uh, then this thing came out and wow, it took over the world. Then, uh, you know, I'm just like, I just don't fully understand these things. So I'd kind of like to talk about pros and cons. You know, the pros of these electric dab rigs. What, what do you think they are? What are they? Let's talk about it. Let's bullshit this stuff. The pros. Right. Well, um, it looks like I can take it places with me. Yep. It, no. So a pro, it's uh, portable. Do you consider this portable or do you consider it mobile? And those might be two different things. So for me, I would consider it mobile. It's not portable. To me, portable means it can fit right inside my pocket. And I, I don't see myself carrying those in my pocket. Right. And it's much like a phone, right? Yeah, I can put a phone my in my pocket. The old school phones hooked up, whatever the big things they were mobile phones or whatever, but they weren't really portable phones. Mm -mm. I guess they were, but whatever. Right. So what's mobile, what's portable? We, I think we as uh, the leading industry leaders, being here for 15, 20 years playing with this stuff, know kind of uh, have some authority about what we can say or not. And so I do agree with you. I'm going to go with that. And I think portable is something that you can discreetly put in your pocket. Yeah. That would be me or purse and that's not fitting in my purse either i would right. be afraid to put it in my purse it might break so i wouldn't call these portable devices i would call them mobile easy to use so therefore i think most of these people that are using this yes you can use it in your car your go but you're not going to fire this up walking down the street no you're not going to fire this up in a movie theater or baseball game hey and did you know that mlb just eliminated uh cannabis as an illicit drug so yeah. pff, baseball players they're going to be moving to the cannabis um, but anyways, uh, is it, is it portable? Is it mobile? I, I'm going to say it's not portable, but it is mobile. Um, again, anything where you put water into it, I think that instantly takes away the portability, right? Yeah. right? Cause it's going to spill. It's this or that. Right. Yeah. Um, so pros are that they can go right away though. Either way, that's a pro can go. Uh, another pro. Um, it looks like it would be easier to pass around to my friends than other options. I agree with that. Uh, you know, obviously we got a surfer sitting here because this is what we use all day, every day, um, and so forth. We'll put it on the lights because I like the lights. Um, so yes, it's more portable around the room. A uh, surfer desktop unit is pretty much dialed in for about two to three people. Um, so, yep. And then, you know, you can use a bag, you can make things work however you want to, you know, if we're going to get into an argument or something, uh, you know, I'm going to try to win that with facts and everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yes, I definitely think it's a pro. It's easy to pass around and it's pretty easy to use. You know, you heat it up. Once it heats up, it does it and you can just put your dab in and go. Okay. So that's really nice about these things. Um, another pro. Um, I don't know, maybe uh, like this one has the carb cap attached to it. Okay, so um, I think um, this one definitely comes with a carb cap attached to it. This you can buy a kit for it, and I'm sure these guys got a kit too. So okay. I'd say those are kind of the same. Whereas here you got everything, it's, it's kind of separated. Mm -hmm. So all inclusive with right. whatnot. Um, now are we comparing it to this? or We're better? not comparing it to anything. Oh, we're, we're just not, saying pros actually. and cons of it. Yeah, okay. Right. So yeah, no again, you're bringing up a banger, a banger, cumbersome <clears throat> to use. You know, is that portable? Hey, kind of portable, oh, yeah. but come on. 
Pros, I don't need a torch. Yeah, you don't have to look like a crackhead sitting there with a torch. You know, like, I'm sorry, but when mm -hmm. I see a torch pop out, <laughs> crackhead style, baby. You know, it's that's how I grew up. Right. And I wonder, like, about the flavor. Of I'm going to assume those. that this as well will give good flavor because, you know, all these, they have different settings or whatnot, and they're smart or this or that, whatever, whatever you know. Uh, it works for you. I think once you find your setting that you like, whether mm -hmm. it's on this one, finding a range from 280 to 800 degrees, yeah. this one from its three or this one from its few that it has. And this one is a dial. And that's a dial. And then with a banger, you know, I think that's way up hot if this is for a dial for. Oh yeah, that's where devs. I was. I just um, like that. So then it's, uh, you know, um, yep. Yeah. And then when you compare it to a banger also, uh, I th think you're gonna get a more precise hit on this because with a banger, when you heat it up, if you're doing a banger besides cold start, you're just wasting time, wasting energy, just wasting. That came up from years ago technique, do a cold start. Check our, our blog on Elevate Presents, how to do a cold start banger. It really is a true way. Even Dab and Granny has moved to that way. You're gonna get great flavor. And these are gonna give you something more of a, a perfect temperature. So in that sense, they're on point for that. I think that's a yeah. super pro you get. You don't get an overbaked hit. Although some people like their overbaked hits and that's why you can turn these up on these right. units. But it's a, a consistent heat. A consistent heat. For at heat. least a certain amount of time, right? Yeah, and then you can turn them on. So I'll say <clears throat> if I can turn it back on, that's consistent because I can keep turning it on. Um, another pro, whether it's compared to this, a banger, anything, a pro of these units. Um, can I get custom glass for it? I think nowadays glass blowers in the United States, they're going to be able to make anything you want, depending on how much money you want to spend. Uh, you know, uh, these guys, Puffco or uh, other glass companies, it's all made in uh, foreign countries. So those countries are already like producing high quality glass and everything. So you can get all this in different custom. This is brand new. Uh, you might not have even seen this. Uh, I support this company. I've met the people. They're awesome people. Um, and uh, I really like how it works. Uh, so yeah, we won't get into that, but um, so, but also, so do you have the... You have another pro. I think so. Do, does it come with different options for your um, consumable surface? What I mean, like, um, does it come with a quartz or a ceramic oh, yeah. or titanium? So, uh, I think they do kind of, this comes up with uh, quartz, uh, ceramic or titanium. This, I think you can get in quartz, ceramic or whatnot. And these guys give it to you in a different thing. Forget all the rest. Just stick with quartz. You know, it's good stuff, whatever. Uh, so whatever, you know, so that is that a pro, a pro con? Anacon, yeah. I don't know. I think it's a pro because yeah. you get to choose as a consumer. You go to quartz, you could drop it, you could break it. But if I drop this, it's all breaking anyways. But so for me, I think that if it had three quartz dishes, it would be a pro. Nobody's going to give you three things. Right. I'm not, as a manufacturer, nobody's going okay. to. Because you, 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 you don't, right? Right. You can, we, we're going to give options. you 20, 30, 40. When does it stop? Right. We give you the options. We show you the different things. And if you take care of the stuff, it will last you. So you need more because you dropped it. You were careless. Potentially, that's what gotcha. I like to think. So I don't know if that's a pro or con that it comes with different things. Um, you know, I guess it is a pro that you can choose different styles mm -hmm. that it comes with. Any other pros? Um, you can add water to those. Yep, a banger, you need a rig for it. So it's all inclusive, I think maybe is where we're going with mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. uh, all, all inclusive, you can add water to it, it's all inclusive. So one thing, um, any more pros? I was going to say price, but that's not, there. No, not, there's not a pro no. in price. No, you can't go into, I can't, don't think nope. price can ever be a pro or a con. If I get something cheap or really affordable, why? If it's really expensive, why? They're rechargeable. Okay, so they're all rechargeable. You can use it without pro. a cord, right? Yep. Um, so that's a nice thing. It's cordless. That's a pro. Um, anything else? I don't know that I can think of anything at this moment. 
I don't know of anything either. If you guys can think of more pro, pros to these, let us know. We'll add them into the pros and comments. In the comments, we'll put pros and cons down there. Plus, we'll have a blog on all this. Yeah. So you can really break it down and look at it and pros and cons to all this stuff. Now, let's go to the cons. What are the cons of one of these things? Uh, I think the biggest con for me is it does have a battery in it, right? So eventually, and it's a lithium ion battery, great batteries, great everything, but eventually it's going to die. All rechargeable batteries will die. Mm -hmm. What do you do with it? You know, I'd love to say, hey, we're going to throw it away um, or recycle it. It's going to happen. A lot of people aren't recycling stuff. We all like to think they are, but I don't think people are. Um, so those are all disposable it's kind of a disposable yeah. thing. One thing about this one is they, uh, what I do like about it is they went and they put in uh, removable batteries in oh, here. Oh, okay. One problem with that is both of these units uh, are using 18 350s. And I know there, it doesn't matter if you could pull it out, but in the battery world and stuff, it just is what it is. Well, this is using an 18 650. You can't take it out, but that's what the power horse is in this. So this has way higher, uh, 3,000 milliamp hours compared to these things. Um, so I think that's why I give this a pro over these, but still we're talking about the overall cons of this. And for me, anything with a battery kind of is a con because in the long run of the environment, it's not good. Long run of the environment, right. it's not good. And what does it take to mine those batteries, all that stuff? It's, it's nasty stuff, it mm -hmm. really is. You know, these rare earth minerals, there's only a few places they're mined of. There's not a lot of it. And when it's gone, it's gone. And it just yeah. is what it is. Um, another con to this stuff, I, as a glass blower, what I don't like about any of these things is I can't barely hook it up to this. Hmm. Now with other products, I can make stuff to make all this work, but it's not designed for it. It's not really, the manufacturers aren't thinking about it. We as end consumers are doing it. Um, so that's the big con to this is, you know, you get this and if you upgrade to this glass and this machine gets outdated or the batteries die in it or something happens, right. your glass is stuck. Whereas if you get something that can hook up to a rig, like a solid desktop vaporizer, you know, or even a banger, compare those. They hook up to everything. They're very universal. These are not universal. So when you go into this, you're getting in bed with these guys and then you're going down the road with these guys. And that's just is what it is. So I consider that a con. When I make stuff, y'all know I am a manufacturer. Yeah. When I make stuff, I manufacture it to be very universal with a lot of our products, with as many of our products that it can work with. So, you know, it's not just, oh, I buy something that's hyped now and gone away, time tested. Um, another con to these things. So I'm, I'm very clumsy and I'm actually afraid to reach over and grab one in the event that it tip and that glass break. Yep. And I agree. And so this one, I see that as well. And it has the smallest base, hence why, uh, any unit that you get, uh, does have a bigger base that you can plug into there, or you can take it out for like whatever, you know? Um, but yes, these are all kind of small, um, areas for their bases so they are small to tip over mm -hmm. um and then if it tips over you know uh this glass right here this is fairly thin glass um this is standard size fairly thin on that and uh this is a little bit thicker but this is handmade uh by a, a, a scoey glass um so yep another con to these things from what i've heard these heaters you know you mm -hmm. get you jump into bed with one of these things but the heaters are expensive. So your heater goes out, another $30, $40, pop, 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 pop. You know, going out, whatever. Uh, you know, you get a desktop, which people are like, oh, it's a desktop. So sorry, but it's always running, it's always going. Mm -hmm. it's, just, it's just workhorse, banger. It's always gonna work as long as you don't run out of butane or something. So uh, these heaters go out, it's, it's toast. Well, right. you could get a new heater to replace it, so. Mm -hmm. So what about clogging? Um, clogging, I agree with that. Uh, they all have very small holes here. Um, these two units, they come down through this little silicone. So the, it's all icky. Once you pull these apart, it's all icky there. So it, tough to clean. This one right here, same thing. Uh, there's a small hole here. You know, you got small holes in there. Uh, so I think they're all going to clog up about the same, but compared to a bigger rig, uh, these are going to clog up quicker than this. Um, mm -hmm. And yep, that, so that's another con. Um, another con of these things, 
uh, do they leak out of the bottom? So, no, I, I don't think they do. Okay. I think they're pretty solid in that, from what I've heard. They're they're pretty good. They're going there just you know like anything. If you take care of it and do it in maintenance, it's going to work how it's designed for. If you, it's going to come out of the bottoms or do something. But on average, from a lot of people that I've talked to, they don't really leak, so everything's good there. So I don't think that's a con either. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, and we've already talked about battery life. Um. A big con for me is these bulls are all so freaking puny. Like I don't do big dabs, but I like to have some air room. You can't I like, see. You can't see. Uh, well, yeah, you can. I think you can kind of see there. Look, you got to look all little cross-eyed and everything. Okay. But yeah, I think you can see. So okay. it's too close though. It makes it a little difficult. Not yeah. bad. I guess you could do it out here, but it's not horrible. Not horrible, I don't think. Um, uh, another con to those things. Well, pro con, we don't want to talk too much about price, but you know, reality is the price. When I look at these portable or whatever, and the bulls are so small, why not just get a pin like our wax maxer? Portable, put it in your pocket, easy to go. Uh, you know, uh, and, and they're, they're very affordable. You know, with a battery, they're like 85 bucks, 55 oh, yeah. bucks. Yeah. Whereas these things, you're a few hundred dollars, three, four hundred dollars. Like, I, I'm sorry, but it's, do you get what you pay for? I don't know. I'm paying for a lot of hype <laughs> on these things, I think, right now. So whereas I said it was a pro earlier where it looks like I can share it with my friends, it seems like actually it's a con because I don't think I would be able to really share it because um, it doesn't seem to have a long run time. So that would be a con for me. Well, yep. And I think so um, from what I've heard, you know, these using these 18650 batteries, they don't last long. Good thing is you can have a couple sets for here. This one you're going to have to plug in. This one does last longer than these. Um, you can plug them in and charge them in between. Uh, I would say that it is pretty portable for you and your friends. You can keep, like, like earlier I said, you keep clicking it on until it completely runs. But you can keep clicking it on when it goes. Plus, I can pass this and my dabs with it. So right, I think it is portable in that sense. It, yeah, but once my battery's dead, it's dead. I'm stuck. Yes, unless you have this one right here. Then you can right. pop your batteries out, but put if new batteries in. Right. So, but like with a plug-in unit, it I'm goes. good to go. It goes. Same with, uh, you know, bangers. If you got your butane there, you're good to go. Butane could be like a battery, but you know how full it is. You know if you were going to run mm -hmm. out, not run out, something like that. Um, and I always heard, and I don't know if that's right, but altitude will suck your batteries faster. Never heard that before. I don't, wow. okay. don't believe that. I think that's a myth. All why right. would I say that? And why do I have the authority to say mm -hmm. that? I was an electrician. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it all, but I do know a little bit. And altitude is not going to, to really affect it. Okay. Now, cold maybe could affect it a little bit, but not, we're a mile above. Yeah. The pressure's not great here, you know? If I walk up Pikes Peak more, I can feel my ears go pop, pop a little bit. But the pressure's not so great that it's going to have a negative or positive impact right. on batteries. So I'm going to call that a myth. Um, I don't think... Uh, uh, elevation has anything to do with longevity of how okay. a battery lasts or anything like mm -hmm. that. Um, other pros or cons you could think of. Um, so, yep. Uh, and then, okay, let's talk about these. You know, what's, what's good pros, cons about each Discreet? individual unit? Uh, each individual unit. Oh. Now we're going to compare these three together. Okay. Right. We're not comparing to this, mm -hmm. not comparing to anything else. I just want to talk about mm -hmm. E- Vaporizers. This compared to this, which one do I like better? All day I like this better. All day I like this better over this Puffco, over this. You're paying for a brand name, you're paying for marketing, you're paying for some more brand names, some more marketing, and these, you're getting it right from the cats. Uh, and reality is I have given these guys some pointers because again, I, I like these guys. They're innovators. Um, they came up with the idea uh, and so forth. Um, and again, they, it, it just, I kind of like what they're doing here. You know, you get a recycler there. That's what I say was a pro over this one, over these, is I get a dope little recycler here. These, uh, not really getting a recycler. Now, you can get add-ons for them all day. And I think these guys even have some stuff that are coming out with it. But right here, you get it. 
Yeah. Um, nice big bowl, comes with a quartz uh, bowl. This does not, this does. So pro there. Pro, I do like the removable batteries on here. Con, they're 18350s, stop it, right? Mm -hmm. I get it, you wanted it so small, so you used it. Reality is that's why things have to be a certain size because we are dealing in a physical world and the physical world does revolve around physics. And physics dictate that I need, at this point in time, with our technology, we need X amount of area mass to hold X amount of power. So on that device, I just noticed that it has a plug-in and it has the removable. So This is the charger for this, this is the charger for this, and this is the charger for this. Although you can charge this here and you can get a separate thing to charge your batteries so you can keep rocking yeah, this gotcha. while you're charging another battery so you can run this thing constantly where these twos you can't. So I give this pros on that over these. Uh, but again, it's weak little batteries. I don't really care for the 18350s. I know a lot about 18350s and 18650 batteries as uh, we, we make a portable uh, sidekick as well. Um, another pros, cons. I would say being a glass blower, my biggest pro for this is making the attachments. Uh, to make this little thing down here, it's, it's ridiculous, right? And that's why it's being made in China and this and that. We can make these. There's, there's beautiful blowers making this stuff here. But these things are just, they're a pain. They're hard. This, much easier, much uh, simpler on how to make something. I just need this. I can pop a hole in it. I can weld it onto any rig that I make there, so forth. Uh, so I, that for this, I would say this is a better way to go for the future. Uh, in my idea, you know, um, I shouldn't have said that for the future. God, I'm talking bullshit now. It's better for a blower if you ever want custom stuff from American blowers. Because all these can be upgraded with American glass or foreign glass. You know, I'm not going to hate on foreign or American glass. I love American glass. You know, if I have to spend money, I'm always going to try to spend on American glass first and then go so forth. Um, right. uh, another pro con of these things. Oh, a big pro over this compared to these two is this one right here. It goes from uh, 280 degrees up to eight, 800 degrees. Okay. Uh, and you can adjust it by 10 degrees. So you can really fine tune this in. Uh, and being a connoisseur, boom, I'm choosing something I can fine tune in that I like. Do I like really, really low temp dabs? Do I like hot dabs? You know, I know people that will argue all day, give me that super hot dab where I'm hawking and coughing mm -hmm. afterwards. I'm going to argue differently and say that's not it. But who am I to say what's best? Only you know what's best for you. So this is going to give you that range of full adjustability where these kind of are like, like Apple. We think you're stupid, so we're going to make it uh, extra simple for right. you. Yet, you know, uh, just is what it is. Not bad things. If you're going to, uh, if you really like the all-inclusive rig for dabs only. Um, I think that's a con on all these things. They can only do dabs. So if you're a flower person, mm -hmm. these are not going to work for you at all. You can't intertwine them. But, you know, I've, I make a sidekick and um, that can do uh, herbs and oils. Mm -hmm. And after a long time and having it, I, I will now say one unit needs to be for oils. One unit needs to be for herbs. Hence why we have this dab dish. I tried to make heater covers and wands and all this that would work back and forth for both different things. Um, thing is, oils are fucking sloppy. Excuse my language. Messy. They're messy. Uh, and my preferred way to keep it clean is add a little oil to your flour and vape that shit. Um, this stuff here, not bad. The one thing I like the, about this is your typical carb cap will fit it, whereas these, again, the bulls, everything is so freaking puny. But these do have about the same size bowls or uh, chambers. This right here is much smaller. Uh, so this is, you know, is it good for friends? I don't know. Honestly, I can't think of anything else about pros, cons. These are the e-rigs, the e-dap things. I'm going to say, I think we're good to go. Yeah. Peace out, y'all. Elevate.